all right so now we have successfully printed something on our web browser but http response is not really a good way of showing stuff on your web page what we want is that uh, instead of showing a response we should be able to render an html page on our website and that is where this uh, render line comes in if you are not able to see this line just type in into your uh, just at the starting of your code you can just type in from django dot shortcuts import render now instead of http response we are going to render something and it's going to require two things first it's going to require a request that we already have and the second thing is going to require is the html page so we haven't created an html page yet so for that what we are going to do is inside our app folder we are going to create a new folder and we are going to call it templates templates now as we discussed django stores all the html files and it looks for html files in the templates folder that's why inside our app folder we are creating this new folder called templates folder make sure you name it templates and not anything else otherwise django won't be able to find your html files now inside this templates folder what also django wants you to do is create another folder with the same name as your app name so our app name is currently my site so inside this templates folder we are going to create another folder and we are going to name it the app name and in our case our app name is my site so i'm just going to call it my site and then inside it you can create your html files so i'm just going to click on new and i'm going to create a new html file over here and i'm just going to call it index you can call it whatever you want but usually in web development your main page or main file is called index.html so i'm going to call it index.html and i'm just going to write this is uh, this html file is working all right so now that we have created our html file we have to make sure that our html file is being rendered over here so what exactly is render so in html you can see you have this all this web programming language code to convert all of this web language code to actually uh, a view that a user of the website can see uh, we have to use something known as a render so instead of this HTTP, HTTP response, we are going to just write render. And as you can see, it requires more than one parameter. But for our case, we can just start with two parameters. It requires a minimum of two parameters. We can just put in the request that we have gotten it, uh, that we have got from this index function. So we can just write return render, not request, render. And inside this, we are just going to write request. And then we are going to write the template name that is index.html so we are just going to put uh, like uh, quotes over here and then inside it we are going to write the app name that is my site so we are going to just write my site not over here what am i doing we have to write my site over here and then inside this my site we have to write this index.html so i'm just going to write in and it's going to automatically find it for me and that's pretty much it let me beautify it by pressing ctrl alt plus l on my keyboard so that you can see it more properly and now what we can do is we can just uh, let's stop the server and run it again so whenever if you have a problem in uh, viewing your website properly and if you think you have done everything right make sure you try and run the server again because sometimes what django does is it uh, doesn't run the server automatically by itself again but sometimes it does so it's it's very confusing it's one of the bad things about django that it it sometimes refreshes the server and sometimes it doesn't so we have to sometimes like refresh it on our own so anyways we have refreshed the server now if we go back to our web page and press enter you can see this html file is working